Piero, what a, what a fantastic night. Can you even begin to describe the scenes in the dressing room after that? No, nah, the, the boys were just over the moon. I mean, to come back and react from Saturday's result to play like that, it just shows the strength of the group and how together we are, and that's how we want to go into Saturday's game. It's an incredible contrast to the weekend at Newport, isn't it, where everybody was pretty distraught. Tonight, it's been incredible. I think so, uh, Saturday just come as a bit of a shock. We didn't... We wanted. We had a game plan and didn't really go to to plan. But today, I think the water boys were really focused, and we had a feeling we could cause an upset. And the gaffer was pressing on, was pressing on about it, and we managed to do it. Talk us through the events. You actually started quite well. You, you could have been a goal up early on, couldn't you? Yeah, I think it was uh, Michael Richardson at the back stick to keep pulled off a great save. But we gave away uh, kind of a cheap goal. But we obviously you could see the, the strength in the squad, and we reacted really well. And the boys just dug in and then Bav done some great saves at the end. Is it almost the best thing that can happen to you going behind? Because Middlesbrough kind of passed it around and, and kind of didn't really hurt you too much. And then when Marcus Carver got the goal, you were right back in it. Yeah, I think obviously it's not ideal going behind, but we were we just wanted to um we wanted to get our game plan sorted and we managed to do that and that was to frustrate Middlesbrough. And then we managed to nick a, a good goal with Marcus. And then from then on, we brought ourselves back in the game. It was important to go in at half-time level. All the boys got together at half-time and we really believed that we could do this. For you personally, a few weeks ago, you didn't have a club. You didn't know what your future held. And nine minutes from the end, the ball drops to you in the penalty area and smashing it goes. <laughs> that just sums up football for you, really. I didn't know what I was doing a few weeks ago. And then thankfully to Atkinson, the gaffer, they gave me a chance. And they gave me a chance to play tonight. And... I just really wanted to give them everything and to show, re, re show the trust they gave in me. When the ball was dropping, what was going through your mind or did you not have time for that? It's just, I think those ones there, you hit them better when you just go off instinct and you just run onto it and hit it. I think if you think too much, then anything can happen. So I just ran onto it. I can't even remember it properly, to be honest. And, and then there were still 14 minutes, including the stoppage time. You mentioned Ian Dunbar having some wonderful saves, but it was a real 1 to 11 defensive effort, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean. It seemed like the longest five minutes we've ever played in, but literally, I think Bav actually saved the result for us. His, his saves were actually ridiculous, so I couldn't believe what he was getting to. And he deserves a lot of credit for that, especially because I know he had a, a long shoulder injury, so I think he'll be over the moon to be, play such an important role in such a big win.